I'm getting a pretty late start on the vlog today because it's basically been a bunch of this and this. But the internet just went out in the office, so I figured maybe that's a sign I need to get outside. I know this isn't a very novel concept, but I do like to get out of the office and take a walk just so that I can kind of clear my head and think about stuff. Today, what I'm specifically thinking about is, you know those little things that you should be thankful for, but that you kind of take for granted? Like everyday stuff in your life. Like these things. Or how this is doing that. Just, you know, turn that. Or this, you just, well, don't do that. Have you ever thought, have you ever thought about trying to express gratitude for those little random things that we take for granted? I mean, how would you even begin to do that? You can't track down the people that created the light switch. One day, I'd like to be thankful for one of these, but blue. The other day, I was in a meeting with a group of pastors and it was with the vice mayor of our city. And at the end of it, he gave us his phone number and just said, hey guys, if you ever need to talk about anything, or if you have questions about this thing that we're having a meeting about, uh, then go ahead and give me a call or shoot me a message. So we hung up the phone and I jotted his number down and I just shot him a quick text message just to say thank you. Cause I don't know how often I'm actually gonna get an opportunity to just say thank you to the vice mayor of our city. When I think about the things in my life that I should be thanking God for, it's insane to me the number of days that I have gone without saying thank you to him for the big things and the little stuff. And I wonder if maybe that doesn't happen in my life for a few different reasons. Like maybe I just take this stuff for granted, like the air that I'm breathing right now that's reminding me that I am still not in great shape because this walk shouldn't be winding me as much as it does. Whew, it's kind of embarrassing. Or maybe I think that God is distant, like I don't have contact with him and maybe he wouldn't be interested in hearing me say thank you because you know, he's got other things going on like being God. Or maybe we don't pray because we just don't know what to say. All right, I'm back and I'm thankful for this air conditioning. So the invitation to pray is like how the vice mayor gave me his phone number. It's like God has given us this open line of communication with him and said, call me any time. But so many times we don't actually pick up the phone and make the phone call or send the text or say the prayer and talk to God, even though the line is always open. If you struggle knowing what to say when you're praying, let me give you a prayer pro tip. Thanksgiving is like the ultimate prayer icebreaker. All you do is open a line of dialogue with God by saying thank you to him for literally anything. It could be as simple as, hey, God, thank you for the air that I'm breathing. Thank you for this day that I woke up and I'm alive. Or thank you for my family or my friends, or my loved ones. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my church community. Thank you for the fact that I can thank you right now. Literally, thank him for anything. It's the perfect way to start your prayer. All right, I'm on a mission for a tool, but I'm not a tool guy, so I don't know what I'm looking for. Nope. Maybe. I don't think this is the right one. Okay, nope. Did it. <gasps> Got it. Did we get now it is time for one of the things I'm most thankful for every single week. 